Zero interventions, zero hands. Again, back to back. Tell you what, everyone. This version is freaking awesome. I can't wait for you guys to have it. Hello, everyone. This is Rocco coming at you for another full self-driving video. 12.4.1. Again, hands-free self-driving. Uh, we are going into town to do my haircut route. I'm getting a haircut today, or tonight, rather. And uh, we are going to see if we can get a back-to-back -back zero intervention drive. Because I have done this, I think, twice now? At least once, for sure, uh, on previous versions. So theoretically, this being so far the best version I've ever had, should be able to do the same thing. Shout out to all my new subscribers. I think we have over 100 new subscribers here in the past week, so that's freaking awesome. So shout out to you guys. Appreciate you joining along. And um, everyone commenting down below. Oh man, the sun's bright. Everyone commenting down below. Um, I appreciate your comments. There's a lot more activity recently with the new with this new update. So I'm excited to see how, how this does. As you can see, my um, camera is kind of pointing down. I think uh, I only had one person comment on this, I think, that, uh, that they liked this better. So I guess that's what I'm gonna do. Can't guarantee it's gonna be that way every time, but I'll do that. And uh, just so you can you know, be able to see my foot down here. And then you can also see my hands for the most part on the steering wheel, you know, if I do take over or anything like that. It seems, you know, slightly different behavior right here, um, which, um, not a good or a bad thing. It felt super smooth. The one thing I'm waiting, someone commented that's like, oh, I can't even merge you on the highway. I'm like, that's because it switches over now right there to version 11. And so you have to either the super merges or you have to turn the rolling gear on like I just did. So obviously I'm not gonna count that as an intervention because it would have just zipper merged. But that's because it's version 11 right now, not version 12. And uh, is it gonna pass? I forgot to put it on chill mode, but you know, we'll see what it does if I can keep up with traffic. Okay, because of the person tailgating me, kind of, I mean, not super bad. Um, I don't like being this close to this type of truck, and this guy is just swerving all over the place. I don't know if it's the trailer or what. Going a little bit too fast. Now it's passing back again. Like, this is like acceptable behavior. I think uh, we're going to have a road trip in mid-July up to Michigan. I'm hoping that uh, we have version 12 on highway for that trip. Soon and soon is better. So, but the bright side is hands-free. That's the biggest thing to make that trip awesome. Is this hands-free like this? Just <laughs> this is gonna be awesome. Again, it doesn't see, read the speed limit, so I'm gonna put mark this camera button here to see if that's gonna do anything. this exit yet with this version. That felt basically the same. It seems like it was trying to decide which lane to get in. Uh, technically this is the best lane to be in because it has to make a right turn way up the road. Oh, it got in the wrong lane. It cut over lanes. That's, um, that wasn't good. not actually seeing that red light already, is it? Because it seemed like it started slowing down as soon as that light turned red. Gotcha. Yeah, that's great behavior. That seems like the furthest it's ever been able to detect a red light. Interesting. Okay. 
This is and this is the improved behavior here. I don't think I would normally get over it at this spot when when, when doing this route. So it's, this is a, the best spot it should be getting over. started slowing down a little bit sooner for this light it be because the wide angle lens can't see the light and the narrow focus lens was looking because you're going around the curve is not pay pointing towards the light it couldn't see it yet to know it had to slow down that's good behavior see how smoothly it makes his turn Super smooth. Okay, it should already be breaking here. It needs, I think that's just gonna be a limitation of the cameras in my car, is that it's just not gonna be able to see red lights soon, soon enough. That's a little bit annoying, but I don't, I don't think it's a deal breaker. It's just, when you're going fast on a red like this, it needs to be able to recognize a stop light. Uh, sooner. Seems like maybe it's recognizing that this goes to 35 here now. The speed, the speed can control is a little bit inconsistent right now on this road, which is interesting. So someone had messaged me about lane um, switching, like going back and forth for no reason, and. So far, I've seen none of that. Uh, if you look at AI Driver's video, uh, it, he has a pretty bag. It's going all over the place. I haven't experienced that. Now, knock on wood. But um, I think this is the type of road, a four-lane road uh, like this, is where you would see it most commonly, it appears, based on the videos I've seen. But this is the correct lane to be in here. Didn't necessarily have to get over so soon. Now, if what happens if it gets over in the right lane right now, and then immediately gets back over in the left lane, then that would be the same issue. But it appears that that's not going to happen. It's gotten in the left lane here because it needs to make a left turn coming up. Just I think it got in this lane maybe a tad bit too soon, but since there's no one behind me, I don't think it really matters. In my opinion, it seems to be not breaking soon enough for lights. I don't know, that seems... <laughs> ironically, the first light we got to is good. Or second light, rather, but... Um, these seem, I don't know, they just seem to be breaking a little bit. Okay, now we have to do an unprotected left. We have traffic coming, so it technically should not go. And this is what this last couple of versions have really improved. This version actually I've noticed even more. You don't get that little jerkiness where the wheel just kind of turns a little bit, which is probably what caused most of the interventions for people, which is why this is a 5 to 10x reduction. It's because you have so many uh, fewer interventions because the wheels is not scaring people unprotected lefts. I've had several interventions because it you know it's kept on turning the wheel and started moving forward like going into oncoming traffic. Um, you know, a lot of times I know it's probably going to end up stopping. It's just it even for me, it's just like it's gone too far. So I'm like, okay, I got to disengage. But this version's been pretty solid on all the unprotected lefts I've done. I'm actually want to see Chuck's video on his unprotected left because it seems like uh, his will be you know the extreme example so, also this is the end of this trip we are turning right here I didn't have the, the exact address so but uh, we are gonna do the trip back so obviously zero interventions and no hands the entire way here so we're gonna do the whole drive back and see what we can get Hey everyone, we are back to do the drive back home. As you saw, we got zero interventions and no hands on the way way here. And we're gonna try to do the same thing, go back out. I'm hoping you know one day it's gonna be able to properly do parking lots and get map routing. That's something it's probably a harder problem than it seems to get uh, routing within parking lots. Because they can't even get to the parking lots and half the parking lots here loading on route inside the parking lot. So I, I think you're gonna need some extreme map updates for parking lots for it to work correctly. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong, but um, 
for general parking lots, it seems like it's going to need some some dedication to make that work. But again, robo taxis can be curb to curb right now, and they will work. You don't need parking to work. It's obviously something that would you know be preferred to work, but it isn't necessary to make robo taxis function. It seems slightly more timid on this road, which is. I, I thought, I think, totally fine. Nothing unacceptable to me. This is really the most challenging turn of the entire, entire thing. That actually was really good. Okay. Oh yes. Wow, I was. Wow, that's that. <laughs> hey, that was good. That was. That was super human-like. Because you, that, um, I don't remember, whatever car turned in front of me, uh, started going. My car was going to go, and it realized that car turned in front and paused on the brakes. Because the other car, it realized afterwards the other cars from the left were coming. It was, they were going to be too too close for comfort, and it stopped. That felt really human-like. The only difference is that me as a human, I saw the cars coming. I just would have never accelerated as hard as it did and then have to jam on the brakes. That just really would have never happened for me. However, it felt so human-like as if I was a passenger that uh, you know, my driver did that. And like, you know, it wasn't a super harsh, but it, you know, I wouldn't want it to do it all the time, obviously. But I thought that was like just really, uh, totally acceptable. It, it handled that complex situation really well. and how it's staying in the right lane so far here you know it's like going it, you can tell it wants to go faster but just doesn't which is interesting so I'm pretty sure I'm on yeah I was on average profile so I'm not sure why it's doing that it should it traditionally would change lanes very soon right here but that was before it was pure nets pure neural nets and so it seems to change a little bit further up the road now Go do it at any time. There's no car to my left. I really should just go ahead and change lanes, but it just it this feels like it's in chill mode right now. Like the way it's driving is like super relaxed and like doesn't care that it's going to speed limit. Like yeah, I don't know. They're like that. Yeah, that's good good timing still to get this. Unfortunately, this light is probably gonna turn red by the time we get to it. Oh, uh, this. Yep. Yeah, okay. Considering that was a rather smooth stop, I thought so at least. So I just realized that um, I can look at the screen as much as I want when the car is stopped. It's only when it's driving, so that's sick. <laughs> yeah, when it stops, you can. I'm glad I'm all, that's what it should be, but I'm glad they did that. This is this also looks seemingly like way more. I don't know, this this seems a lot better. I, you can see a lot more, it seems like. I don't remember it being this detailed on this intersection before. Okay, that... Um, we're putting a camera button there. I just, if we weren't testing and trying to get zero interventions, I probably would have just engaged to get proper training. But I have the camera button, so we can do that. That's the second time tonight it has crossed over lanes from the right lane to the left lane in the middle of an intersection, in the middle of a turn. So that's that's seems to be a regression on this version. The speed control, while it will piss off most people watching, I think it's great. See, it's going 48 right now. This is this is a great speed to go on this road right here. It doesn't need to be going above 50 on this road in my opinion. Like it, you. Yeah, it just roads like this. It used to go like try to go 55. I'm like, no, that's just way too fast for this road. Like, I don't, I don't care to get a ticket. And I just this version set definitely seems to have much better speed control for my liking. Now it's not gonna make everyone happy, which is why I hope they have the chill average and sort of profiles. I hope they have different speed profiles based on what profile you have selected. I'm curious what it's going to do right here at this light. Because in my opinion, I, I 
I go back and forth on this now. In my opinion, it should just go straight for the light, then change lanes. It, it's such a weird intersection because that sign right there says right only turn lane, which means to turn in right before McDonald's, and then you can turn over, but it seems like you can just go through the intersection and stay in this lane. But what the car did, in my opinion, is perfect. That's what it should do. It's debatable whether it can just go ahead and get in the right lane before the light and do that. I, I don't know. I've, I've gone back and forth on it, but what the car did right there was perfect, in my opinion. So we just gotta make it on the highway back home. How much do we have? Seven miles, eight minutes? I think we can do it. I think we can do it. So remember, this is version 11. So you can't, you really can't judge this t too much because th th we don't, shouldn't expect this to change much, uh, if at all. This is version 11. It's not version 12, and they basically paused working on the highway stack. So they think it's good enough to allow hands free. So that's great. I still wish they would slow down coming off the exit. I have disengaged several times and left feedback. This is going, like, this should be going 50 right now, not 58. And now it should be going 45. What the heck? It's gonna have to jam on the brake. Oh my god. I'm leaving, I'm leaving. That was way too fast. You would scare the crap, like, people would scream. Like, I know, I know people in my life that would be riding in that, and they'd be like, what are you doing? And they would yell at me. Um to come off a highway that quickly. And it's, it's just a waste of energy. Anyways, regardless, zero interventions, zero hands. Again, back to back. Tell you what, everyone. This version is freaking awesome. I can't wait for you guys to have it. Mm. Let me know what you down, think down below. Glad to have you watched. Glad to all the new subscribers here. See you next video. Thanks, everyone. Bye.